Hi, I'm Broken Travel and this video I will travel to the uh, castle Hunedora and from there I will go to the city Sibiu. So if you are interested to see how the most beautiful city in Romania looks, then you should stay till to the end. If you didn't subscribe yet, then subscribe and I would say let's enjoy the castle Hunedora where I go from here, this workaway place where I stayed three weeks. Let's go! Whoa. This door is definitely too small for me. It's like... <laughs> so yeah, finally I go after three weeks staying here. And it was just a really nice time to yeah, build this uh, beautiful railing and having all the animals around. Footsie, your footsie come. Your goodbye footsie. Yeah. Hello. Goodbye cats. We have like seven cats in total. And footsie. Oh. Yo. Goodbye everybody. Goodbye. It's ended. Yeah, nice. Thank you very much. That's cool too. I it's am awesome. waiting for you another time. Not in 10 years, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll uh, keep watching you. So Honidora, this castle where I am, what you can see behind me, is one of the most uh, important secular buildings in Transylvania. And the rock castle was built on the remains of the fortification from the 14th century. And yeah, it looks like actually a little bit like a fairy tale castle and it's also used as a film set. So I went in my suite here on the um, mountain with a view on the castle and uh, it's perfect. Well, I think sleep without BV, without tarp because I looked the weather and it shouldn't rain. So I had a good night, no rain, it's perfect. And I decided yesterday that I go to the third biggest mountain in Romania, who's 2,522 meters high or 19. They're different, um, yeah. They say different things about it. So I would say, they see us on the mountain. Mm. So I'm here on the mountain. What I can confirm is that it's 2,590 meters. Now you can see here. And yeah, but first I will show you how I came up to here. So I think we start with this. It's so windy here. And I think these clouds are not looking so good. So I hope I find something to sleep here. And then tomorrow I will go further up to the 2,500. But now I'm on the 1,400 meters. But it's so windy here, it's so cold. It's like, I think, I don't, I don't know, five, five degrees Celsius, something around. So let's find some nice place to sleep. Position. This was much too windy there and here it's a little bit more protected from the trees and I will sleep instead of listening to the wind. <laughs> and now I will go and look if I can find some mushrooms. Uh, I can find some mushrooms but some edible mushrooms would be nice. So I just waked up and it's a really beautiful morning. Like it's snow clouds, it's still a little bit windy, but you can see where I go. You go in this peak there. Yeah, it's incredible what Mother Earth gives you up here on this height and you still find something to eat. So I found some lingonberry, what I will eat later with, guess what? Oats! Yay! <laughs> Some nice oats and lingonberries. This will be so tasty. I'm so excited for this. I'm so happy about this. To see all these red berries hidden in the bushes. And they are just, just there. And you can pick them. Here 
by Konstantin the Shepherd, who died eight years ago and he was uh, 35 years old when he died. Why he died, I don't know. But this is like his old home and yeah, it's like his sleeping place and still some the alcohol. Feels like the kitchen. <laughs> So it's like a nice fire and improvisation while well, boiling. The good thing, he has a spring and I can refill my water. <laughs> I'm still not there because <laughs> I have to go there. <laughs> oh. But at least I'm coming there slowly. <laughs> So I was so excited to come here up here because I have like two surprises for me. Like once was the uh, um, yeah the berries with the oats, and then I had some skittles. Or well, actually only three, and this is from um, my hitchhike opportunity who brought me to the like bottom of the mountain. So I went down from this peak there and I will go now my work and travel business room because I have one up here. <laughs> it's directly in here. You just open it and then wow! Then you can go in. Wow. And this is where I will sleep. It's perfect. It's directly on the mountain and I can enjoy the sunrise and this is something good, but i show you something different. Wait. I found the last snow! <laughs> Yay! It's funny, I, I think I didn't saw snow for the last seven months. Six months, four months, but at least. <sighs> it smells like, oh, it's like washing, because I'm so salty, my skin from the sweating, and I have no water. Ooh. That's a few, I don't know how you can see it. It's still amazing. It's incredible. It's so beautiful. I think we see this a little bit in time lapse motion. Got invited for breakfast from Adrian, and also got invited to come with him, and he will drive me to see view, and so I will go with him. So we reached the half, so three hours in this direction, three, three hours to the peak, but uh, yeah, we will now continue, make a break here, and then going to the parking lot in more three hours. and now we will go to Sibiu. Let's go.
city? I don't know. I didn't been at all the cities in Romania, so how can I know? But I know the architecture of influence from the Germans and from the Austrians are quite impressive and nice to see. But I think if you didn't saw what I did before I came here to CBU, you should check out this link and see the video how I did a nice railing at this worker base place where I stayed three weeks. And I would say, see you in my next video.